guys, Ryan here, and I'm joined with Ross. Uh, thanks, Ross, for talking with us today. You're welcome, um, right. Yeah, tell us a little bit about you're working for so Hemro Group, yes. who own a couple of brands, but yep. most importantly, we're talking today about Mal Koenig. So tell us a bit about the history of Mal Koenig and how it came to be in the coffee world. Well, it's uh, look, it's a long-established um, European grinder brand, um, uh, originally from from Germany, and we're still housed there. And look, it's a fantastic company with with a really rich history. But without going into all the details, I guess the grinder that sort of set it off was uh, a happenstance, I guess, in the, in the EK43 over there to our left over there, which I'm sure we'll go and have a look at in a little while. But that grinder was a grinder that was used in shops and, and European delis to grind. Originally, it was a uh, the twin grinder that yeah. you may have seen. And uh, so it was an offering to allow um, a shops to grind grain or poppy seeds or other things like that, and then grind their coffee on the other end. And then, as it happened, um, it was used by uh, a barista, Matt Perger, um, uh, going into, the, I think it was the Vienna World Championships for the Brewers Cup, and they realised when they stumbled across this grinder that the grinder made beautiful coffee. And I guess long story short from there, the company has sort of been, uh, I guess, swamped worldwide with people wanting to engage in their coffee. And I, of course, there is a range of other grinders with different needs from Malconi, but specifically that grinder, I guess, really brought Mal Koenig to the fore and um, I guess to the forefront of what is specialty coffee and really helps so many people on their individual yeah. journeys. Yeah, me definitely. I've been a big fan of the EK43. I've had it in every cafe that I have. I still have a couple of them running and they are just beautiful. Like the flavours that you get out of them, the speed, the consistency and as well as the reliability, you know, German engineering. You just, it's precision, it's quality, it's durable, it, you can't go wrong. Exactly, exactly. And I guess um, from that, so many people, uh, we've probably broken up a lot of relationships with people <laughs> saying, I want an EK43 at home. And somebody's partner then says, hey, it's not on. Uh, I'm going to get a new car. You get a new grinder. I mean, maybe we've helped some of the economies stay, you know, <laughs> but we may have impacted some domestic relationships. But look, we make no apologies. All right. The main thing is people got up and they had good coffee. All right. But at home, uh, I guess one of the great new additions that Marconic has now is the X54. I make the analogy that, you know, a Formula One race car driver is not going to drive their McLaren around the streets <laughs> into the shops, all right? When we think like that, I mean, the EK43, okay, we do sometimes take the, the F1 car home, but realistically, for the for the greater coffee market, they need something that is an all-round grinder like the EK43 is that is as good for a filter and espresso without being too complicated or anything else and really affordable. So the X54 was a great project from Malconig that really focused on making a grinder that could make excellent coffee. And as I said, when an F1 driver isn't driving um, you know, their Formula One car, what is the car that they drive? That's a question you ask yourself. So when we put it in barista terms, the barista at the specialty cafe, they're probably gonna use an X54 at home and so can you, you know, as a, as a general consumer. It makes great coffee. The focus for us has been on grind quality, just the same as the EK43, and really at an accessible price point. Yeah, so let's take us through them. They come in a range of different colours, yep. which, and they're so beautiful. And yeah, footprint is important for the yep. home barista. So yeah, take us through some of the functionality and coming up with the concept and the design of that. Yep. So. Essentially, what we always like to do with Malconig is focus on the coffee. So when we start with that, all of the Malconig um, grinders, we use flat burrs. So the grinder technology that, that Hemro has as a, as a complete grinder manufacturer, it starts with the burrs on the inside. Those burrs are specifically designed in conjunction with a motor to produce coffee that is correctly grind for your extraction, just like we know with our EK. On the top, You've got now two different sizes of hopper. So if you're a bit of a fiend, then you're gonna need the bigger hopper. But for smaller hoppers, then you can have a, a smaller 250 gram hopper um, to be able to, you know, just cope with maybe a single dose here or there or a smaller amount if you're just your one coffee a day. Yeah. You've got a great safety feature here that disengages the grinder, but then when you put it back on, the lights turn back on, so nobody's going to, you know, lose the tip of a finger. The other great part to it as well is You've got different features. So you've got a porter filter here, which will hold hands free and you can grind into your porter filter, right? And turn on just like that. But equally, you're feeling like a V60 or anything else. Yeah. You move over, pop in the fittings here, and Brilliant. then you've got your fantastic 
grind straight in, and yep. you just pop it against against it in there. So we accommodate for all round grinding. So this is something that doesn't have a big footprint. It grinds perfectly for all of your grind types. You've got a range of grind settings, and then realistically, it's not over complicated for home. Mm. So if the lay person walks up and goes, well, okay, how do I do this? Well, the handle goes there, the button goes there, but equally for the enthusiasts, we've got an app that's that's uh, coming out. This is Wi-Fi enabled. Right. You can save your recipes in the app. Wow. You can talk to your grinder. You can know what your grinder's done, how many cycles it's done, and you can even note your recipes, whether or not you like wow. the flavours, and make notes about your TDS as well. Brilliant. So it really, again, from the entry level person who might say this is my first grinder or to somebody that's going you know what i'm yeah. that formula one car driver i want the best that's fantastic i love that you've thought about the whole range uh, i think one of the best things that i love about the ek43 is the fact that you can go from turkish to french press in this right. in one swivel yep it, how does it uh differ in the x54 do we have that same ability well generally what we do we probably wouldn't work so much with turkish with this yeah. grinder um we'd probably go down to at least 200 microns yep. which is you know right right yeah, at espresso. that sweet spot around that yep. espresso you can actually just pop out this dial though and you can easily reset it right um and again another great feature about malconi and what we're doing in this sort of new world we're living in the Malconic YouTube channel has a host of videos that show you how to do everything. So gone are the days of reading the manuals, because yeah. let's be honest, I don't read them. <laughs> I love them, right? But I got to, you know, sometimes you just want to get to it. You can look at them on your phone, you can yeah. look them on your computer, and there are really easy ways for you to really take greater ownership of your grinder. So you can change your grind setting here. If you like a more coarser end because you're doing more cold brew and a little yep. bit less espresso, it's really easy to change. And look, the numbers are just an uncomplicated yep. way to get exactly where you want. Yep. So from that point of view, I mean, this is not a grinder that's necessarily your, your full on Turkish grinder. Yep but you can get a very, yeah. very fine grind. Um, but we would say this is pretty much everything else in between. Yeah, and I'm really keen to understand because obviously the one of the uh, steps with the Malkernig EK43 was that the blades run vertical. Yep. And you've gone for a horizontal design yes. in the X54. Tell me, talk me through the, yeah, that design and maybe any challenges that might have come up in going to a horizontal. Yeah. Well, look, definitely. And I think the buzzword in coffee is often zero retention. Yeah. And that's another reason why people really loved an EK43 and that you put coffee through knowing that there's no grinds left in the chamber. Now, with a horizontal burr uh, set, you know, you are going to get some residual coffee. In addition to that, you've got also got a little, what some people call a clump crusher yeah. or, a, um, or a flapper. And those flappers um, basically exist to control the flow of, of coffee as that exits out of the uh, exits out of the grinding chamber. With a filter coffee, you'll you'll tend to throw the coffee out more quickly. With an espresso coffee, you need it to do a couple of more revolutions. So with this, it does have a clump crusher in it or a flapper. Right. So you're going to have probably. I would say around two grams at a maximum yeah. that, that is held in this grinder. There's a few ways to get that out. It's not too difficult. You've seen other pieces of equipment like a bellows or things yeah. like that. So there's plenty of things that you can do to adjust yeah. that. Um, but this grinder, because of the things that we, we're attempting to do, which is like, how do we make a grinder that's simple to use, that has the range of grinds, that has a usability and some accessibility? And so that really sometimes makes that you, sometimes you can't fit everything in, yeah. right? Otherwise, you just buy an EK43. Yeah, right. So this is not a zero retention grinder, but it's a very small amount of coffee. And more importantly, what we love about it is the grind quality from a cupping standpoint. I've cupped this in a cupping bowl, right? With the same coffee between an EK43 and the X54 and the, and the similarity, it's not the same, but mm. the similarity is startling. Yeah. So when you, you put that up against your, your, your list price for what you pay for an EK versus this at 990, yeah. it's an exciting grinder. That was my next question was where does this sit in the price range yeah. and obviously under a thousand dollars that's yep. perfectly balanced because yeah you don't want to always drop five grand on an EK and coming in under a thousand it sits perfectly in that range mm -hmm. and you don't necessarily like you said it's the perfect home solution to driving your Formula One car Instead of driving it down to the shops, you just get your little car that's perfectly durable, still got the precision, still got the handling that you want and the quality. Mm -hmm. 
uh, but you don't necessarily need the, everything that the EK43 brings. But there is one thing that is really Malconi is known for, and that's for the investment in some of the things you can't see. The motor inside this is rated for over 25,000 cycles, right? So you can be comfortable that like your EK43, this is probably going to live as long as you yeah, will. Yeah. So that's another really important yeah. part about this grinder that Marconi takes a lot of pride in. A lot of our grinders are seen as being, you know, super productive in terms of their grind um, capabilities. And all of that is, is because Hemro doesn't compromise on what's under the hood. And that's a really, really important part. It's often things that where we, we look at bird geometry um, and we know how important it is, but that interaction between a motor and the burrs, because there's resistance, there's torque, and there's all these other things that yeah. we could sort of get into the weeds there. But that subtle interplay is essential for getting a grinder that not only grinds great coffee, but goes the distance. And that's, I think that's really important that you brought that up because, yeah, Malkernig has the history. It's already proven its durability. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of new grinders out there, which are, you know, the all, everything encompassing, everything. However, they don't have that history. They haven't been around 20 years to prove that their grinders last 20 years. So, you know, you are taking a chance. Maybe, yeah, it has more features than the Malkernig X54. It doesn't have that history. And I think that's super important for people to understand that, yeah, whilst you might not, you might be sacrificing a few small features that the EK43 does, yeah. you're not sacrificing anything about the quality. So yeah, that's brilliant. Thanks so much for talking with us, Ross. That was fantastic. Obviously, this comes in a many different range. The X54 comes in colors of different, uh, or different colors. And I, I think this is a perfect home machine. For those of you who have used Malkernig in the past and know the durability, know the quality, then the X54 really will be a perfect home grinder and compromises really nothing. I'm Ryde, coffee coach, and as always, enjoy your brew.